the other question is um, about uh, now so many people are very close to dying and uh, it is uh, general more than stress it's just a general feeling that because we never seen this before and before at least something happened the family you know we all there to help them and think through but now we cannot do it. especially coming from the indian context your father is very close and anything rituals you want to do all those things are extremely important for the uh, in people and uh, how to deal with those type of situation uh see these are challenging times i'm not trying to belittle the challenges that are there but will we stand up and come on top of it or will we be crushed by it this is all the choice we have so when uh, people close to you have died in i must tell you this every day 12 to 15 people who are dear to me who are known to me are dying per day every day people are dying across the age groups and what is happening is from the hospital they were wrapping the bodies and sending it straight to the crematorium that the family has no participation so somebody was telling me uh, her husband passed away in the hospital she couldn't be there he was in icu for 8 days and he passed away and they said the body will go to the crematorium at this time well the whole entire family went and stood there there were many other families four bodies came in one van and it's all wrapped up they don't know which one is theirs they just stood there <laughs> not knowing which one is your family this is not easy because there's no closure in your mind this is not easy times these are challenging times so those of us who are well who are competent now right now just today i had a just before this i had a meeting with all our volunteers in india and uh, we are seeing how to set up uh, processes we are buying a few vans to because uh, bodies are not being picked up at the hospital taxis are unwilling to come nobody is willing to lend a car simply because they think it'll get infected and whatever so we are setting up a few new vans just for this purpose and volunteers coordinating this effort at least to move the body from the hospital to the crematorium in a dignified manner not bundled up in one truck because handling somebody's uh, somebody who was dear to you in your life at the moment of death handling with them with some dignity and decency it's very vital to come to some kind of closure one thing is we have lost somebody who's dear to us another thing is we could not even do the simple duties that we are supposed to do and for which there is a natural innate longing it doesn't matter which culture we belong to everywhere there is a longing to treat our dead with some sense of respect and regard and dignity so to provide that we are creating a whole lot of volunteers we are creating volunteers to support the local administrations wherever possible one thing we are doing is the medical personnel for the population that we have and the number of nurses paramedics and doctors we have they are stretched beyond limits everybody working 14 15 hours a day for more than 14 months they are at the verge of breaking down if medical systems collapse then the tragedy will be much bigger so one thing we are trying to do is right now in especially in government hospitals private hospitals may be taking better care of their personnel we are seeing how to provide nutritious food in the middle of the night they want tea they want some biscuits whatever they want we are trying to provide it to whatever extent we can please be a part of that and participate and uh, there are many other services which are being organized like this we cannot we cannot bring back the dead we cannot prevent death either it's not in our hands right now but we can at least make it little easy for people who have been hardest hit please be a part of this participate in whatever capacity you can